Council, I need a motion. I need a motion on the work session minutes for November the sixth. Motion to adopt. Have most adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Five with one abstention. Okay. Need a motion on the regular council meeting minutes for the November sixth. Motion to adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Okay, Mr. Mayor, are you up? I don't think your microphone's working. You want me to do it? Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. He's got his Auburn That's coat much on, better. so that, that much shows better. you why it wasn't on. Yeah, he was trying to send you a message. <laughs> yeah, right. We'll get with the season and wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, Mr. Pruitt, nice to see you. Yeah, you got another council person here, too. Brantley, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah, it's good. Well, I'll see you Saturday. Okay, I won't see it. Hey, Mayor, we, uh, by the way, our picks were not very good. Uh, well, you picked one, and I, I, I love the sentiment. I love the sentiment before we got waxed on that I one. Know, I know. <laughs> but I did move out of last place. Oh, that's and, all you got to be. Don't finish yeah, last. It's amazing when you get a former Auburn quarterback that's behind the mayor and picks a football. That's pretty good. <laughs> all right, on with the business. Tonight, um, we uh, continue with the Montgomery Advertisers Community Hero uh, Awards. Uh, these are individuals that uh, are unsung heroes that the advertiser through their mechanisms have been able to identify. And uh, Michael Galvin, who's the president, is here tonight to make that presentation. And it's someone that I really have never met before except one time, but uh, she's got a really special ministry, I will call it, and we're proud of what she's doing. So Michael, if you'll come and make the presentation. Thank you, Mayor. I appreciate the Mayor and the, the City Council giving me the opportunity to, to recognize our October Community Hero, Montgomery Community Hero. Each month we recognize somebody who, who makes a difference in the community, the, the city, uh, along with the support from Beasley Allen Law Firm, the <coughs> Montgomery Airport, and Wind Creek. I'd like to just put a spotlight on somebody who makes a difference. And I did ask to uh, do the recognition this month. I had a Kind of a personal situation recently that gave me a, a great appreciation for the, the type of work that you do. Um, my mother was in a, a car accident, a pretty serious car accident. And, uh, she was in the hospital for several days and really just wanted to have her hair done. Wanted to, she didn't know what was going on, but wanted her hair done, wanted out of the hospital gown. And a, a nurse took the time to give her a shower dress her in some new clothes we had bought and do her hair. And when I came back in the room, she was, she was so excited. She wanted her picture taken with me. And it was, it was such a, a special, bright time, and that first bright step in many steps for her, her recovery and her, her path back. And I thought about the work that you do on a, on a bigger scale every day and the work you've been doing with the American Cancer Society for 18 years taking care of people like that. And, and when their life's been interrupted by cancer, that, that you're that bright light, that person who fits them with a wig, gives them that outer beauty back, that gives them that, that confidence. And it, it's such, as, as the, the, the mayor said, a ministry or a gift. And, and I know I've, I've heard you say that you get more out of it than, than, than the people that you're helping, but uh, that's, I guess, what. Uh, a common response from a remarkable person, and you're a remarkable person. And I'd like to ask everybody to join me in congratulating you and thanking you for all that you do. I don't know that we even called her name, but it's oh, Teacher Ward that's uh, receiving that. And Teacher, if you would, um, I'd like to present this on behalf of the city and the advertiser, uh, and we'll get a picture uh, in a moment, but I suspect that. Uh, the uh, council as well as the, um, those assembled that would like to hear from you. Okay. Um, I appreciate and I'm very humbled by the nomination. Um, this is truly, like he said, this blesses me so much more than I could ever bless anyone else. And I just am very passionate about the cause of cancer and have been very blessed to work for the American Cancer Society for 18 years. So again, I'm very humbled by this award and I appreciate it and thank you so much. We'll get a picture made, okay?
Items that uh, we want to chat about this evening. A couple of weeks ago, or, well, a, a little longer than that, we received a, a nice recognition um, by the Digital Digital City Society, uh, but we were embargoed until Friday a couple of weeks ago to even talk about it. And um, it was the fact that Montgomery was in the top 10 digital cities um, award, best digital city best smart city and we have a couple of three individuals that really uh, helped us put us on the map and they uh, put an application in for uh, being recognized and we were in fact recognized and a couple of them went out to uh, Los Angeles uh, last week or so to be able to receive that. Savio uh, Diaz along with um, Griff Waller was out there but also Drew Grantham uh, has been instrumental in making us uh, be in a position to receive that. See those individual cities, Bellevue, Washington, uh, home of Microsoft and Boeing, Winston-Salem, part of the, uh, the, the uh, Research Triangle, Alexander, Virginia, right outside of Washington, uh, Pasadena, they're known for the Rose Bowl, but just to be incorporated in that quality cities. Uh, William, I know that this means a, a good little bit to you to have this recognition, and I would like Savio, if he would, Savio, come up and Talk about uh, this. Savio is manager of systems in our IT organization, works for Lou uh, One of the benefits of, of Lou's contribution is as a city county uh, joint, uh, we're using all of these resources to be able to have this technology uh, in place. So, Savio, if you would come, and uh, Drew, and also Griff, y'all might want to add something to the equation. But, congratulations on the award. and. Uh, we look forward to what you're going to do for us next. Got many more awards. Good. Go ahead. I'm proud to be a part of this team, and I hope that this is the first of our many awards that we are going to get for the city. And I'm proud to be working for the city. Thanks. Sure. Uh, thanks, Mayor. Thanks, Council. Uh, we just we're proud to bring this and, and put Montgomery into this. Uh, and I think the main thing we want everybody to know is. Uh, the reason we work so hard on these things is because we believe in this city and what it's capable of, and uh, that really fuels our efforts. So uh, thank you all for recognizing this. I'll just put an exclamation point on all of that. It, 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 at the end of the day, it's about serving our <coughs> residents better and making sure that they have the most efficient, cost-effective service possible. We're using technology to do this right now in public works, like the Chris Conway, and we're building and making decisions based on data. and. It's going to be exciting in the next couple of years. It all started with the first project, which was the open data portal that uh, we got uh, many years ago. We came with the concept that led us then to work with the chamber and the Air Force to start the Internet Exchange. Now we call it the mix. Uh, 28 companies are, are putting data through there. Uh, Lou told me last Tuesday, I guess it was, Sabia, <coughs> we set a record, 12 uh, gigabytes. Uh, some of you might know how how much a gigabyte is. I asked how big 12 gigabytes was. I said it's a lot. Uh, but that's just uh, symptomatic of the activity that's coming. That leads us to do uh, a more smart city things. That leads us to do more things with our public works. And so also in our law enforcement, we're using uh, smart city techniques uh, in that regard. We're in discussions right now and have the basis of agreement between Alabama Power to partner with us uh, in an innovation district that'll go from the start uh, where the capital is all down Dexter, uh, turning at the fountain and going all the way to the river on Commerce Street. Uh, all of that would be fiber. Uh, you know about uh, Air Force Works or what we call MGM Works. They're gonna open up uh, in the next two weeks. Talked to General Cotton last night. Uh, just so many things that are in process and on the horizon that will continue us to propel us, not as a smart city, but as a, but as a, a, a bright city. And that's really kind of our goal. And uh, the sky's the limit for us. And uh, our group, uh, along with the county, uh, is really making great strides. 
Uh, we don't publicize it enough. Uh, every now and again, we get an award like this that are able to uh, uh, thank our, our um, people that really is at the, is at the fore of this. So uh, I hope that you're as proud as we are to be able to be included in that and say that we are, in fact, uh, a cyber, a smart, a technical, a digital, a digital city. So Mayor, congratulations, Mayor, guys. I have a quick question. Yes, Maybe please. other can answer this. How can we leverage this to compete? And I know uh, New York just got Amazon. I'm not saying Amazon, but maybe there's some other uh, startups that maybe might choose Atlanta or, or maybe Huntsville. How yeah. can we use this to probably uh, try to uh, get them or at least go after these companies to try to think about maybe putting their startup yeah. here in Montgomery? We did, in fact, evaluate whether we would even propose on Amazon, but we didn't just, we just never met those, those um, um, criteria. Uh, there are two companies that have reached out to us, uh, predicated on just the knowledge of where we are and some of the publicity that we've been getting relative to not only our tourists, but also uh, our technology that we're into NDAs. Uh, and uh, they are startup companies, uh, many millions of dollars of investment, several uh, hundred, if not thousand of jobs that we're getting the opportunity to compete for because of this. Um, our goal, uh, and General Quast, who was the previous three-star AU commander, planted the vision for us that all up and down uh, Maxwell Boulevard, we'd have technology companies. We've had conversations at least more than once with a, with a, um, uh, a data center uh, organization that would look to come and, and do those kinds of things. So we, are, we haven't totally leveraged it, but every time that we have these successes and we can publicize and we can put it in, not only the tech magazines, but the Business Week and the, the, the New York Times and the Wall Street Journals, then we get uh, calls. Uh, and we're competing with the Austin, Texas, with uh, Huntsville, Alabama, and, Ch and uh, Chattanooga as well. So hopefully in the next time I stand here, this time next year, we'll be in a position to say, hey, this is something that we've been able to accomplish in that regard. So thank you for your leadership in that, because I know this is an area that you're very excited about and, and more knowledgeable than any of the rest of us, <laughs> I, tell you, I assure you. So thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. And with the, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about it. This will be hung somewhere in City Hall. Okay. Uh, we got a couple more things. All right. Information items. That's not one of them. The I don't think they're here, Michael. So let's move on. City tree lighting. Uh, last year, we moved away from doing it on city council uh, night. It's next Tuesday at 530, Lister Hill Plaza, which is right outside of us. You see the, the tree that's uh, uh, being uh, decorated now in that whole uh, block. Uh, be here at 530, uh, a little bit before, if you want some hot chocolate and some cookies and some other things. Uh, bring your kids, because it's what it's all about. And we'll be lighting that tree uh, on the 27th. Uh, which will be able to stand for uh, some weeks prior to the Christmas holiday. So come and, and put that on your calendar, particularly city council, because we'd like for you to, to push the button, because if you push the button, then you got to pay for the tree. That'll be really good. Next, if you would. But even... Come on, Mike. Go to the next one. All right. 14th, Friday. December 14th, 6.15, it's the parade. It's the Christmas slash Camellia Bowl parade. And probably what you don't know is the Camellia Bowl is on Saturday the 15th at 4.30, televised on ESPN. But on Monday night, the Alabama 
Mississippi All-Star, high school All-Star game is in Montgomery. And so we're going to have that group in town during the Camellia Bowl and their bands. And so we've got four or five major high school and college bands that are going to be in our parade with, thanks, uh, with uh, Santa Claus. And um, we actually will have the former mayor of, 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 of Pietro Santa, Mayor Massimo Molini, which is now senator, and he will also be bringing the new mayor. They will participate in the parade as well as the, the uh, Camellia Bowl. So come and be a part of that. Uh, we'll start the parade. Uh, bring your candy, bring whatever else. Uh, Tracy's always one that brings the, the nicest stuffed toys. We try to steal those for, so we can throw. So just put that one on your calendar uh, as well. We're expecting thousands. Uh, for that particular parade. We're not going to have 140 units this year. We're going to try to limit it to about 90 quality units, so we, we're not uh, having to pray till 9 o'clock. We're going to have to pray at about 7.30, quarter to 8. So that's, uh, put that one on your calendar as well. Anything else, Mike, we, is that about it? Uh, is she, where is Sherry? Oh, come on, Sherry. We can go back to that. The Driving Force Women's Golf Club. Women after my own heart. Charlie probably could get some good lessons from them. Where is she? Come on. Come on up. Come on up. The Women's Driving Force Golf Club has spent the past 11 years introducing the great sport of golf primarily to African American women in central Alabama. Part of its outreach involves working with youth groups to introduce children to the game. Uh, its corollary is an organization called the Browns Mills Women's Golf Club. Club of Atlanta. Each year, the two groups compete in the Alabama-Georgia shootout to determine who are the queens of 18 holes. This year, the driving force women prevailed in the friendly competition, and it's their third straight victory. QB Ray Hayes has introduced it to us, but Sherry Wells is here this evening, along with other members, if they are, to accept this certificate of recognition from us to the driving force women's golf club. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are always proud as, as women to introduce the good game of golf to the Montgomery community. And this year was an exceptional year because for the third year in a row, we were able to beat out uh, ladies from Georgia. So this is very special for us to even keep the trophy here in the Montgomery area. And we do continue to uh, mentor uh, children here in the city who wants to play golf, whether they're male or female. We do open up our hearts and the golf course to anyone who wants to play golf. So we are grateful tonight for the mayor for uh, this certificate, and we appreciate it. And we'll be back next year with another win. Yes, yes. Thank you. Congratulations. I think that covers it. Okay, very good, Mayor. Thank you. We have nothing on special committee reports, I don't think, and then we had nobody on public communication. So, first item, Madam Clerk. Mr. President, item one, ordinance authorizing the issuance and making provision for the payment of $10 million revolving credit promissory note. Motion to spend the rules. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Motion to adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Ordinance is adopted. Mr. President. Yes, sir. I want to make sure that uh, we articulate what this really is. This is a renewal of a line we did. that we haven't used in four years. I wanted the people that were here to understand we're not borrowing any money. No. It's just one of those standby situations. We haven't used it in four years, uh, and we fully expect not to use it, but it's always good to have it. Very good. Item two, ordinance authorizing purchase sale agreement and sale of real estate at 400 North Perry Street to John Tampa. Uh, this uh, piece of property at 400 North Perry Street is across the street from 401 North Perry, the Equal Justice Initiative uh, that we recommend a sale to. And by the way, they closed on that sale last Friday. Uh, this is John Tampa that owns the Doubletree as well as the Hampton Inn and uh, the Bishop Parker Building. And the plans are for a multi-story commercial building, $900,000. That's about a little bit less than $8.50 a square foot, the same price that Equal Justice paid, and a comparable price to what was purchased on the old skate park. Um, he's got 90-day due diligence period. 
and then 30-day close, and he has to start construction by January 1st of 2020. And we'll have our typical development agreements in place uh, by, the period, by the time that the uh, due diligence period ends. And we'd like to recommend that we, that, by the way, this piece of property along with what Equal Justice Initiative is gonna activate that, those two blocks in, between downtown and old Alabama town. It, it'll really be a nice uh, addition to the city downtown. We recommend approval of it. Very good. Any motion to suspend the rules? Move to suspend the rules. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Move to adopt. Move to adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Thank you. Ordinance is adopted. Item three, resolution providing for the enforcement of the Montgomery Business License Code and Uniform Revenue Procedures pertaining to applicability to the lease or rental of residential or non-residential real estate within the corporate limits. Mr. Larkin, you carry this over? Uh, well, I don't think we need to carry it over, uh, Mr. President. I think uh, uh, we have, the finance director has already agreed that he, that he should be prepared to offer the report on December 16th on our second meeting. So I would ask the council to uh, give its unanimous consent to the present presentation of that report on December 16th. This isn't a one or something. This is a different one. This, is, this, is, this is something different, yeah. This Second, is, I'm sorry. All we're saying on this one is that. We're just asking for the, the business license date, report huh? on rental properties. Is that, is that what it is? Yeah, this is number three. Uh, oh, is this something different? I don't know. I'm three. sorry. I'm a little confused. Okay. This is the resolution asking the finance department to give us a report on whether the business license code, and he has agreed to do. He's agreed to do that on the 20th, so it's really it's a it's a mo it's a mood issue, but yeah, uh, mood issue. Okay. but uh, let's just withdraw it. But I, well, we can withdraw it. We can vote on it. But Why you explain this to me, Mr. President? I, yes, I apologize. I miss work, Chesson. Can Mr. Larkin just sort of walk me through this in a 30-second Reader's Digest version? <laughs> Yes, These are 30 Very seconds? Connected. Yes, sir, 30, 30 seconds or less. <laughs> yes, several, several months ago, we asked the business uh, license division of the finance department to explore the possibility of issuing uh, business licenses for rental properties. We have not yet gotten that report, and we simply ask in this resolution that that report be brought before the council by our second me meeting in December. And that's what this is. Okay. And that's what this is. And the finance director okay. has already agreed. He's already that. agreed to do it, so it's, we do it. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Most do. Most do. Move to suspend the rules. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Move to adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Resolution is adopted. Item four: Resolution ascending to the vacation of a portion of Lenore Street and Joseph Street to Lewis and Karen Mashburn LLC. Get a motion to spend the rules. This is one we would. Motion to spend the rules. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Motion to adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Resolution is adopted. Number five is withdrawn. Lewis is back there in the back. Item six application for retail beer and retail table wine owner off premises doing business as Wharf Casual Seafood at 6945 East Chase Loop. Your name for the record, sir. Noah Griggs. Yes, sir. Good to be here. Yes, sir. Thank you. I was in Tallahassee yesterday. So you got something else really nice. Your, your second there. location in Montgomery. Second location in Montgomery. And, um, and of course, we have 1220 Cafe in Tallahassee. And uh, are you referring to Seven Gables or uh, Seven Gables. Tallahassee? Yeah. yeah. We're pleased to be there. And that's an old blunt yeah, old family property. But we're excited. Okay. So looking forward to a second location in Montgomery with you. This is a public hearing. Anyone like have? Speaking against this item, please come forward. Seeing none, Ted Public King's been held as part for the council. The motion has been rules. Motion been the rules. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Motion to adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Resolution is adopted. Welcome to my district. Appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, Mr. Your... Mayor. Yeah. Yeah. Resolution appointing Kalia Bell to the Architectural Review Board. Motion to suspend the rules. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Motion to adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Resolution is adopted. Item 8, resolution appointing Ken Austin to the Mental Health Authority. Motion. Motion. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Move to adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Resolution is adopted. 9, pursuant to section 1150. 
1983B1, Code of Alabama, authorization of demolition of unsafe stru structures at the listed locations. In motion to uphold. Move to uphold. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Item 10, resolution assessing the cost of abatement of unsafe structures on various lots. In the motion to spend the rules on the rest of the agenda. Motion to spend the rules on the rest of the agenda. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Motion to adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Resolution is adopted. Item 11, resolution declaring, authorizing, and assessing cost of abatement of public nuisances on various lots. Okay, you got something for us, Ben? Yes, sir. Uh, fiscal year to date, uh, we responded to 1,418 nuisance complaints. That's October. And October 1 through November 20th, yes, sir. Um, of those 1,400, 1,119 have been found in violation. Um, and tonight we're asking for approval for the abatement of 206 properties. Um, and the spreadsheet that we show every council is actually what y'all would be uh, offering approval for. Um, and then even beyond that, the ones that, that we actually do abate and file liens on can be found on the open data website. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. That's good information. You know, motion to adopt. Motion to adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Resolution is adopted. Okay. I have a couple other things here. Uh, Ms. Graham, you got something you want? You got board, uh, board appointments you got from Mike here? I do. You, know, you got Ms. Graham's Yes, sir, I do. It's a resolution appointing Andre Howard to the Parks and Recreation Board. Okay. You need a motion to suspend the rules? Motion to suspend the rules. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Motion to adopt. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Resolution is adopted. Okay. All right, Mr. Larkin, you have got an issue. Let's try to work yourself through this. Yes, Mr. President. We, uh, I would like, uh, do I need a motion, Madam Clerk? Yes, sir. You have to make a motion to re remove from the table ordinance amending Chapter 12, Section 31 of the Code okay. of Ordinances. I so move. <laughs> All in favor, raise your hand. <laughs> Unanimous. <laughs> now, motion to substitute. That right? yeah, he'll have to make a motion to adopt, then a motion to substitute. Okay. Motion to adopt, then a motion to Mr. Larkin, you got that? Make a motion to adopt. Okay, now I need a motion to substitute. And motion to adopt the substitute. All right, now voting on the, on the motion to substitute. Okay, all in favor, raise your hand. I thought we were carrying this over. We are, but we gotta get the substitute. We, we gotta get it back, we gotta get the substitute carried over. So now we're just now, we're, now we're voting just, on the main motion. We're just bringing it off the table. That's right? it. Yes. Okay. You're voting to substitute this for what's on the table. Right. So now it goes back on the table. That was nine. The table. When he raised his hand, made it nine. So it's unanimous. Okay. So now where am I at? <laughs> now, if he wants to make a motion to carry it over. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I do make a motion to carry it over for two okay. weeks. All in favor, raise your hand. Okay. Unanimous. Now it's back where it started. Yes, sir. New piece of paper. All right. And I have put before you one contingency funds to be approved for District 4, $3,000 to Martin Luther King Elementary School. Mr. Yes, sir. District 7, <clears throat> and I've got this paper here, but for the YMCA, for the annual campaign, Southeast Y, $1,500. Okay. Anybody else? Yes. Yes, sir, Mr. Bell. Found some money. <laughs> District 6, I, and I don't want this to be duplicate because I did put one in, but I haven't heard anything from it. For CDC, uh, Act CDC? Uh, $1,500. Not to be duplicated now. Not to be duplicated. Right. Okay. Anybody else? I do. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Um, I want to also do um, 3000 to South Lawn Middle School. South Lawn Middle? Yes, ma'am. Anybody okay. else? Mr. President. Oh, I knew it was coming. Move to adopt. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> 
Mr. Mayor, are you okay with these? Have Absolutely. a motion to adopt on favor raise your hand. Absolutely. Unanimous. Okay. Very good. All right. In our public communication roster of non-agenda items, uh